after a storming NIP performance. They picked up 14 T rounds, by the way. Finish oh. off the job quite quickly. This should be a comfort zone for G2. Uh, I think so. It's going to be interesting once we get to that CT side to see how the bomb sets are moved around. Maybe Jax has to take Amonek's role of being the B defender. But let's focus on the pistol as we get some mid control smokes being laid on out. Jackson Hunter straight through connector. And Nork, well, he's down. Yeah, they have got a setup though. Resin twist. And they found one of them, taking that jewel. Wow, Jax could not connect those bullets, and it's given enough space for Rez to find it. Now it gets awkward for Nico. He was supposed to be the last man. Now next to finding a frag on short makes things awkward again with losing the bomb. G2 have to overcome this commitment to A by simply the, the product of a frag. CTs even have numbers. Rez still keeping Nico busy. He has the info to confirm that Palace is still present. Nico's desperately not trying uh, not to go uh, down, but G2 falling another flat of the mark around here. He could spot Plopsky. He does. Just a leg visible, but. Oh. Rez first. Teammates haven't communicated it yet. Knows there was one CT. Oh, he doesn't know where Plopsky no, he is. He actually doesn't. Now he does. And he doesn't quite find the shot. They even double peek as well. So had he found that likely trade coming from Twist Swing. NIP, neat, tidy, first pistol down. Now this is where it gets dicey to see what type of a buy G2 want to bring forward into round number two. Rez so under the long Rez had to find this. Do, do, do. I hate this duel. Like it seems like such a good idea, especially if you have teammates baiting for you, but it can get really awkward. Rez did a good job and Plopsky finishing things off. So fantastic work. And uh, well, the shot's just not landing for Nico there as he tried with the P250 as he might. We'll just be the save. P250 for Jax, Deagle for next, for everybody else down to the Glocks. And I think this one could be quick. Nork postured close middle. Plopsky overseeing with the Org. I from can't the think window. of a better weapon for holding a Glocks top mid than an Org. And well, they flash him up and he confirms there is action top middle. Oh, Plopsky's down. Has found Plopsky with only a pistol. And Jax's P2K has found oh, a frag. No. Now there's an Org in play. Okay, round two does have something to offer, it seems. More than something. This could be everything. Hunter's spotted out the B rotation, and his existence is enough to keep the CTs completely on high alert. They're hunting Hunter. Oh, Hampus, what are you doing, my friend? Straight into three of them. Not the full eco victory and twist. A necessary frag. That was the threat, and now the control. It returns, and so does the Org to his control. Swaps it for the FAMAS. Didn't have time to throw it away. Didn't have an option to throw it away. So there is still a weapon in play. Great timing on that peak. He isolates the bomb carrier. Nico oh. boosted up. Twist was ready. Ah, and that one starts to fall a little flat. Despite a spectacular start. Plopsky going down to the Glock. And while it started strong, finishes even better for NIP though. Yeah, that one right there almost got out of control. And it was well handled, but not in the way... Wow, that's a great shot from Hunter there. Plops are getting punished. Uh, but not in the way that I expected. Normally, you'd, you'd suppose the CTs would try and play the sites and some choke points, but they actually took the fight to G2, and they didn't want them to allow to get positioning or lose where they were last spotted, and that was over towards middle. So Twist hitting some absolute bangers there. And yeah, sure, it was against unarmored opponents with not a lot brought into the round, but it was necessary frags. So bailing them out of a bit of a hole there... I mentioned NIP's last showing on Mirage was a 16-4 loss to Na'Vi. So they need to win those ones, and they need to win this fight. Hunter silences Twist, the hero of last round, being sat down very early, and he wants to take more space. All top towards Van. Hampus will not be able to push on in and try and look for info. Great early entry now for G2 as they can slow this one down. Their mid-control is coming on through as we see the smoke towards window, the flash towards connector. And actually, NIP are opting to push towards the A ramp. We can see on the radar, Rez up close and personal with the MP9, and under the balcony will be Nork. That leaves Plopsky in tow with this org to oversee middle. But if it's a B-side finish, and that's looking very, very likely with a minute and five. Feels like a clock. save call is very likely if Hampus doesn't find two and a half. Precisely. He has to do so much damage here. But look how much utility he has at this stage of the game. If he continues to hold on to this smoke grenade and drops it at roughly 40 seconds, he might dissuade G2 into the stack onto the A bomb site. That would be very, very dangerous. Yeah, and the BU is about to land. So is that his cue? What is that smoke? It's come all the way from top middle and what landed the hell in is that? Kenny threw that one out. 
And they're actually going to go for the A-Rap. This is into the stack. There's three CTs waiting for them. Nork and Rez are still there. They haven't got time to pivot. I say that with bated breath. Nico's giving it a good go. He is trying to get his body over to B. It's wide open. If Kenny gets the jump. Oh my Next God. has gone down. Now they've confirmed it. The B site will be the finish. Nork, a one versus two. A sound cue required. He could use it to bait. But with nine seconds, Nico finds a safe haven for the plant. It won't be denied. Oh, he might give it a go though. Closing in. Nico gets away. Peeks oh. in. Nork gets the frag. He's got a smoke. No way. And this is awkward. What do you do to defuse it? He jumps for the fake, confirms Kenny's short. And then times for the repeak. Oh, Kenny confirms it. Knows the hunt's on. Oh, getting pushed oh. in. And does it with brilliance. Another clutch. How many has he won over the course of this series so far? Nork has just pulled a third out of the hat for the ninjas. That's his fifth clutch. His fifth 1vx situation In over a series. the two maps. That is insane stuff here from Nork. What a clutch that was. Let's no see that again. Was like, he was ready for Nico's repeat as well. I mean, it, it favors Nork. He's still got that right eye. He maintained it. And then look at this catch on Kenny. Kenny even shooting first. And he had an AK-47. If he'd had a bit more precision, Nork would not have been punished. But he's got a smile on his face, as do his teammates. They've got a man they can count on. And the first 15 seconds of that round started with Twist getting sat down from Hunter. That is how that round started. Think about how it ended. That is adding insult to injury for G2 at this point. They had a rough time on Vertigo. They're losing more clutches. And Rez, he wants more. He's going to take Jax out. This is some inspired Counter-Strike from NIP. I haven't seen them play with such a game plan in a long time. Yeah, it definitely works out well. I wonder if... Yeah, this gets awkward. Oh, he doesn't Oof. get a chance. Quick free fire from Kenny, yes. Nork's got 17 bullets. What <laughs> is that timing? He's just completely beheaded Nexo, blind in the smoke. Nearly stabilized enough to finish oh, off. Oh, another one. Another for Nork. The dude's having a game, a game he really, really, truly deserves. Of after taking a break, he comes back and he is the opposite of burnt out. He is fresh-faced and ready. He even has a good idea as to Kenny's afterplant position, but they're not anticipating Hunter. Kenny peeks out of the perfect time. Twist will not be ready for the jungle flank, and it's clean as you like. G2, despite Nork's nonsense, get the first on the board. Oh, and it's very needed. Oh, they're broken. Yeah, it's just that 1,400 loss bonus for NIP at this stage. So they should probably force by here. And you can see Nork just adds nuts. A headshot as well. There's the second on to Nico impact but not enough to get them around and this one was very necessary for g2 to post and not because of the financial situation that puts nip and purely for the confidence if you keep losing those clutches if you keep losing the close situations you might be thinking you need to make and take the round into your own hands just there they stayed poised they stayed cool calm and collected and now we will see nip go for the force fight knock on the scout so he gets a couple of tags that'll soften them up for these pistols the deagles and the five seven of twist with light utility Acts with that same routine. Smoke and flash. That's going to help them secure mid control. From underpass, Hunter will rear his head. He's only working with a UMP. Always using a bit of utility. Mid set up for a lot of crossfires, so they need to make sure they're mollying, smoking, and nading, and that flash is great. Jax will convert. Hampus goes down, and there's a number advantage in the favor of G2 Esports. But look at this. Twisted taking space, and he's taken down Nexa. So back and forth, the trades go, and there's an AK now under the CT remit. Ugh. Oh no. How did that go down? And now Twist. He's gonna get away. Isn't. Oh, he doesn't get away. <laughs> <laughs> Three shots at that Three for Nico. Attempts. Gets it. Hunter's fragging as well. Nork trying to be a threat. He's managed to find a second scout frag. He already took down Kenny S. And the bomb, again with G2, is loose. They'll be retrieving it top mid, but it does feel like Jax. Oh, timing favors him there. He catches the push. Nork wants to repeat. You know he wants to finish that frag, but you'd have Come on, to Nork. Be very quick. Come on, mate. You've won a couple. <laughs> mm -hmm. He is a threat. There's only 10 seconds. Nico needs to get a move on oh, him. If he'd, oh. have, if he'd have pulled that off, Nico plants safe from short all the same. So not going to be the potential round winning fail. And he's making so much noise. He can try again. Nah. Okay, he's going underpass. He could tie it, find another kill. Keep those rifles locked on the site. He's going to use every second of this round to punish. Ooh. Nico? Hello. He, he saw his him. head. Oh, 
This is getting weird. This is very awkward. Uh, okay, <laughs> now I'm just glad it's over. Can we just pretend that that that, that whole oh, that whole situation's over? Now, Nork did recover the AK. They both stared at each other, kind of blew each other a kiss. Said, "I'll speak to you later, mate." Oh boy. And that okay. was the that was the the AK of Twist, right? Who was scarpering into the apps? We saw Nico find him on his third oh, third attempt. Oh, that was a, a comedy of errors that round. No, but you do take them. <laughs> this, is the, this is the chase. <laughs> <laughs> Twist is really pushing <laughs> his luck on that third that's, one. That isn't third he? strafe. Come, Come on, on now. Twist. Oh, hi. Uh, one, uh, just one second. I need to decide if I'm. Uh, uh, mm, uh, and uh, okay. That's oh, nice doing business with you, Nico. Yeah, a quick trade. Okay, so Nork has the AK, but that's the only upgraded weapon going into round number six for NIP. It's just going to be USPs. Oh, defensive Molotov there from Jack. So that one would deal with any CTs wanting to aggress up middle. And that will not be the case. NIP have opted for a bit more of a passive stance, two towards B. I mean, this is just basically hoping G2 won't play themselves, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm not sure what Nork wants to do with this AK because currently he's over towards the B bomb site. And that would be banking on the fact that's where they finish. I thought they might try and use him a little bit more aggressively and try and find an opening pick. And now he starts... His look, Silu. Oof. I'm not sure if Nexa would have caught that. Isn't positioned so. Difficult fight for Nork here. As soon as he fires a bullet, G2 will change their game plan. Exactly where, well, space has been made. Looks like Hunter and Jax have managed to create space. The AK does nothing. Good catch from Nexa. I'm waiting it out. Looks like a competitive mirage. Thank God. I didn't want a repeat of what we had happen there on map number one. That was a blowout from NIP in case you missed it. And if you want to go back and watch it, it's only going to take you about 25 minutes. So don't be afraid to check that one out after the series finishes here this evening. It will be tied up. Three rounds apiece. And finally, G2 getting some well-handled rounds. It doesn't feel like they're having a scrap for all of these moments. Let's see how poised they can be on their first real gun round. It's going to be an AWP for Kenny, three AKs, and Nexus actually using a Mac 10, so might want to do this one with a bit of quickness. NIP, they don't have all the goodies, not rocking a diffuse kit and a Famous for Plopsky so we can get full utility. Let's see how this one unfolds as there is posturing over towards middle. You can see some standard utility being lobbed on out. Window smoke, connector smoke deep, short smoke. This is indicative of mid control. And Jax is selling this all on his lonesome. It will be a B finish, and that's going to put pressure on Twist. Twist. Twist is not prepared. Flashed Molotov and blind spray finally goes down to the flames. Save. Save. Yeah, it's a really rough decision to have to make here, but as soon as you lose both players over towards B, there's no retake on the cards, and G2 could even make a conversation for chasing and trying to take away a couple of these rifles, especially that AWP in the hands of Nork. They have residual cash on all of their members other than Kenny. But look how far away they are, Chad. Is there, is there even a way to be punishing any of these? Yeah, I think they might just hold on to what they have. Jax is starting to have a little bit of a look, but on with about uh, 10 or so seconds remaining until it blows up. Would have to let go of that shift key and start gallivanting forward very quickly. Have to detonate now, and it will be the fourth round for G2. Have you ever ridden a horse, Chad? No, I haven't. I've ridden an elephant. Oh, that is a peculiar animal to have ridden prior to a horse yeah how was the elephant ride um i think i was about four years old uh, so I, I, it doesn't I even count of it. I'm, all, I'm almost going to say that it doesn't even count okay you can't even remember it there's a you've picture never of ridden me, an elephant um, and me mum on the elephant okay so touche you've got photo evidence i can't dispute it why what about horses i don't know i mean i i was wondering how you uh how you found the experience but clearly you can't recall any sort of historical riding no 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 um I always find I it quite scary. I, rode, but... I think I've got a lot of respect for uh, those that trust a horse with their lives. It's, no, like, it's, a, it's like a motorbike with a brain. Like, who wants that? Bang! And Nex has opened up the round. He's taken Nork down and out. And one of the few threats neutralized. A good flash to give space and slow Hampus, but you'd need a 1D banger. A straight up Skrillex bangerang, and he hasn't got it. There is a lovely and attempting smoke for him there, look. 
Pick me up, grab tries me. Tries to fake the drop off. He, he tries to fake the fake sound <laughs> of the shot to drop. My God, Counter-Strike's getting kooky now, isn't it? He fires a shot to make it sound like he's not there, but the jiggle reveals he is. So he's out of the running. Still haven't seen a frag from the fragging in-game leader that is Hampus, and there is a weapon there to be denied. So Nexus presence isn't going anywhere. Yeah, Nexa just wants to make sure this orb doesn't get picked up. But in the meantime, the remainder of his These team... guys have been staring at each other in Palace for a while now. Nico really does not want to give this frag to the setup of Rez, and he peeks him. The most inopportune moment is an equalizing frag. And now Hampus is caught with his knife out. Excuse me, that was Kenny. Twist getting a lot of work done with just the distraction. It's Plopski that peppers from behind, and this round falls to Plopski. He's been found by Nexa, and G2 will make a round out of that in the end. It did feel like they were pulling teeth, though. A lot of painful procedures involved in finding that fifth round. It was a very labored round indeed. They got cash to splash, though, G2, by finding five rounds in a row and keeping the majority of them relatively clean. You can see that their, their T-side troubles, at least financially, are not going to be present for a while. Yeah, and this is where NIP are on the back foot. It doesn't matter that we haven't seen G2 play Mirage with Jax and Nico in the team. Obviously, we've seen them play it with Jax. Uh, this is since the six-man roster has come in for these guys. We need to wait and see how they gel, what gets changed. And on well, Norks missed another one here. He was on fine form on Vertigo, but missing a couple of shots in the early stages. And that pushes Popsky forward. He's able to take down one. Hunter immediately trades. And now Nork, they know the orbs there. They heard the shot. What are you going to do? You're going to do exactly that. Jump down and get taken out. Yikes. This is not looking good for NIP at all. And Kenny's found another. So quick round, a minute 20 remaining on the clock. And G2 are looking much better, much more comfortable on Mirage. And I think at this stage, NIP are probably scratching their heads. Do we regroup? Do we try and save? Do we just 1-1 one, one and see if we can multi-frag onto a bomb side? It is a 2 on 4 There's no right option, especially considering you have no idea where the majority of the G2 forces are. As we can see, all of which will be coming up the A ramp. Rez just playing very, very passive over towards Ticket. Should only be a matter of time until they find him. Yeah, so pushing into the site now. Molotov smokes, clearing out, being diligent. The jump peek from Jax. It spots Rez. Nico will finish off that frag. And now Twist, if he can save. That'd be great. Gets offered up on a silver platter. Jack's wide peaking, but the trade was not able to follow. And now it's a matter of how many bodies do they want to throw at this. You were talking about all the extra cash you two have to splash. Well, you could probably risk the hunt with one or two members. Both of those riflers should have a little bit of a look in. And Hunter's trying to cut off his rotations away from the B site. Up through spawn comes Nico. You see Kenny making sure he can't disappear through short. So at this point, Twist, you're on a timer. And that bomb is now your friend. The quicker it goes off, the quicker you can save, and that won't be the case. Nico takes it down. Round six on the board. And the way this one's starting, it definitely feels destined for a third map. A map will be trained. Yeah, big risk by Nork there. Not able to hit the flary shots that we've seen so far. So six in a row from the T sign on G2's pick. The discrepancy between the... Uh, the team that showed up on uh, Vertigo from G2 and the one we're seeing here on the T side certainly shows the power of the map pool, or rather the absence of power on Vertigo. NIP, it was a, probably a combination of their strength and G2's weakness culminating in a disastrous scoreline. Seems the series continues in a competitive stance, though. What can the CTs do? And it, it does feel like NIP have been playing against two and enemies this uh, half so far, Chad. Yeah. It's been G2 and the economy. And I think another problem for them is lack of opening dual success. They haven't been able to find too many within the first nine rounds of play. And I'm not sure if it matters too much if they find an opening here on round 10, because it will just be the upgraded pistols. And the CT economy, for those of you maybe a little bit newer to Counter-Strike, things cost a bit more. The rifle's more expensive. You need to get diffuse kits. Your incendiary compared to the Molotov costs a little bit extra as well. So the max loss bonus is not enough to keep you above water regarding the buyers. You do have to either save more guns or limp in with these kind of half purchases, which are still potent, they're still deadly. Yeah, I mean, these are the rounds that some teams really struggle to close out because of the uh, ambiguous CT positioning. Double Molly. Hampus has found the only safe haven. <laughs> That's crazy. 
One high, one low. He still doesn't burn. Perhaps redundant use of a lot of expensive nades if he can just sit there all the same. They might even call it cleared. Don't know whether that's going to cost Jax his life. There is potential for that. Abbas could use a frag as well. A freebie in the back of Jax would be the great place to start. G2 are all heading back through T-spawn other than that forward position that you can see there on your screen. And they will be executing onto the A-bomb site. <laughs> yeah, so the question is basically you're surrounding Jax, right? They're going to go for this A take. Will Plopsky go stairs? Will Jax time it to punish the stairs player? Will Hamper swing too early? Here it comes. Hampus has a look. And he can't punish Jax in time. He does tuck in. Trying to strafe into the window. Jax will not be able to catch him just yet. Twist working on CT, but this one is about as far gone as it can be. He is low. Hunter does play him with fire, hunting a deagle at 34 HP. And oh, through the corner of the wall, he lives to tell the tale. That's enough. Yeah, Hunter thinks better of it. I'll use the orb to confirm any lingering CTs. And Nork is playing into Kenny's hands. We got seven, G2. All consecutive rounds on their attack, and you can see what it's doing to the NIP morale. They will pull out the full weapon round, and of course, this is where the half starts to get a bit more determined. Should G2 secure eight, they will technically have won the half, albeit at the moment it's uh, five versus four. We've yet to have a contribution from Hampus. He's been struggling on B, tested on B. But now he's got a proper weapon, you know? It's gonna. It's, it's very hard to be responsible for that site with a Desert Eagle and a single smoke grenade. Yeah, and we do need to see him come alive here. NIP not only are struggling through the impact of Hampus, but they've only found two opening kills in the entirety of these 10 rounds played. And on the CT side, that's just not good enough. And you're seeing that reflected in the gameplay. Hampus aggressive and finds the frag. That's what they needed. Maybe that'll inspire them on here to a fourth round. Mission accomplished. And yes, on the aggress. <laughs> yes, Hampus gone. Quick find, and that is one way to nullify the opening frag found by NIP. He's caught the short player. He's traded that frag, albeit a little late. And now Jax gets tested by Plopsky. No trade. They've actually managed to overcome the opening frag and return to it. Look how low they are, though. Maybe Kenny's Tech 9 is the perfect weapon for the job. He's found Nort quickly traded. Rez, no slouch from that dark spot. He is being hunted by Nico, but the flash deters again. 45, no rush. Hunters won his duel, and now <laughs> Nico cleanly finding the head of Rez. It's twist to clutch, and it's not far off. He's already taken down the first. He can drop two smokes here. I think he's recovered a second as he throws that first. Oh, speculative shots even confirming. Hunter's reposition makes the stair climb. But the fact he still has a smoke for the bomb, right? Surely that's the play. He has no idea where Hunter's playing. Is it Tetris? Is it dark? Is it a sandwich? But a smoke and a kit. One of the least fun ways to lose a round. Do a smoke defuse. He goes it. for it. Three, two, one. Oh, and G2 actually get it in the second. Maybe even half a second between that spray and a third, making a fourth round for NIP. Not to be. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. Let's see that one again, because you can see how hard Hunter worked for it initially. It was Nico and him. Twisted so well to find the first and the second frags but just diffusing in the smoke. One last second on that diffuse. You can see how close it was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Takes note yeah. of that one. Malik realizing a little bit of a divine intervention. Oh no, not all your nades, Plopsky. Get out of dodge, bro. Yeah, it's they caught. They have an idea that someone's in window, so they'll probably pepper that with a couple more grenades if they have them. We can see not to be the case. Ah, this is feeling a lot like vertigo, just with the shoe on the other foot. So everyone should be prepping yourself for train. It's very, very likely we get there. NIP, they just haven't been able to crack the code on their Mirage. I'll actually run you through some of their more recent results since coming back from the player break or in the last three months. Uh, Mirage for NIP, it's been an average map towards the bottom of their map pool and probably one of the reasons why it's been picked on in here today. 
They've lost to Na'Vi, 16-4. They lost to Vitality, 16-10. They did pick up a win against Sprout, 16-9, but just before that had lost 16-12. So they probably nullify one another. A 16-10 loss to FaZe in Pro League. And that w one right there was with Threat standing in, so that's not too many surprises. Before that, they had a slew of victories. Big, Vitality, Mouse, and Spirit all falling at NIP's hand, but... Here today, G2 are just looking way too strong, and they've already won the half with eight, looking good for nine. Very good for nine. They've just turned the corner on short and been 1D, so probably go to the other side, which is completely undefended. Nice little AK for Nork. He's happy to collect. Well, the bomb will go down with 10 seconds left, so G2 making sure that they've been diligent about this, not trying to take too many risks, not pushing in when they shouldn't do, and Hamp is still struggling here. You got 29 ADR for him, only one kill. A bit of this shot there from Kenny gives Rez a chance to run away and hold on to that Kevlar. It will be important going into the next round, alongside of Nork's AK. Those are the two most important bits of weaponry and, I guess, utility. NIP have for the next round of play. Well, Kenny will be head Hampus. That's round nine. So this one, uh, one-way traffic. It's not as uh, stylish. We're not seeing, you know, the bomb getting planted at A and then rotated back to B like we saw from NIP on Vertigo, something I don't think I've ever seen before. But we're still getting quite the performance here. And this is what we wanted to see out of G2. Obviously haven't had a time to completely refine their map pool just yet. But this is looking good. And it will be the second timeout called for NIP. Having to talk through their options, having to have a bit of a discussion here to work out how many more rounds can we get and how are we going to go about it? Normally you'll see teams at this point start to accelerate. Maybe they'll go a little bit more aggressive, take the fight to them. But we've already seen that from NIP. They've had a couple of fights towards underpass and none of which have really worked out that successfully. If you're giving up the mid-control to G2 time and time again, and then if you're losing, if you go for the aggression, then the answers, they become few and far between. As we can see, Threat, the coach here... Very animated, yeah, isn't he? ...needs to get on the mic, needs to talk them through some options, because after map number one, you felt like it potentially would have been enough. Yeah. No, certainly. And I mean, on, I would be ready to build the storyline of NIP 2-0 if they were to find three in a row. Like, happy to. Happy to. Ready to. But it doesn't feel like they're ready for what G2 are throwing at them in this T side, so... At this point, different look again from G2. They're going for a bit of an A lean early. Previously, we've seen aggressive Palace presence to turn Nico's push, but look how quickly he's set up in Palace. Jax is already so deep up. Kept it the walk key pressed at the right times, and as that smoke fell, oh, wow, Nico's been caught. He was a crucial component. It's Plopsky. Oh! Gonna catch Oof. Hunter? Wow. Small margins determining the jewels here, but that does look like 4-4 four, four, the ninjas. Nix has got the bomb. That's a start, but that's the end. Nork closes the chapter of round 13. Okay. All right, let me show you all a bit of a story at home. If you're an NIP fan, sit down for this one. Get yourself a hot chocolate, sit by the fire. It's starting to get cold out if NIP can secure the next two rounds and net themselves a 9-6 half. They win the pistol, they bounce back, they convert the force by, they win against the full eco, they take the AWP out of Kenny S's hands on the first gun round. Well, we've got a series, we've got a map, we've got a game on our hands. But unless that happens, oh. this could be over real quick. Oh. Warping. Plovsky, you're not doing anything else with that, are you? He's just open to catch anyone walking through the smoke. Hunter, speaking of walking through the smoke, he's managed to do just Hunter things. Oh, no. Oh. Surely they're aware of this. No, they're it's not. It's no, the classic. no, no, no. Look oh, where dear. he is. It's been a while since I saw it, Chad. Uh, he hasn't brought it out in some time. A Hunter window boost. Look where he is and look at the time. That's a T player in CT spawn. It brought back the absolute classic there. Oh, it's been a very long time since. Oh, here we go. He's just doing what he does best. Obliterated. A's open. Rez has to now deal with the ramp push and CT. Uh, it's not fun. There's Molly now landing on him. And yeah, Hunter's just going to win this round. He's decided he's had enough. Twist is going to shut down the beast. But the round, I'm afraid, is his. Nine, soon to be ten. 
to G2 here on the T side of Mirage. That is a very, very rough way to go. That is a classic from Hunter, something that they used to operate a lot with when he was uh, over there in Crazy. It's a strat that Kassad was using when he was the coach of 100 Thieves. It was Azza, the individual who was getting boosted up time and time again to exploit the timings through the window boost. And here he is just absolutely pants Nork, made like him look like a bit of a fool. That's a professional Counter-Strike team looking like fools. Yeah, and it's simple as that. Hunter wins the round with that impact, with that territory, and with those two kills. Didn't even need to do any more. The rest of his teammates could have come through and mopped up the rest. And now NIP going into the final round of the first half here. They will be able to operate with the double orbs yet again, but oh, it's not looking good. I mean, it's really not looking good. Okay, 11 isn't 14, but it is pretty damn damning. Yeah, especially on the T side. Yeah. All right, what have you got for us, NIP? Aggressive with the orb. Nork not pushing for a pick this time. Means he can play in limbo, but if he gets stuck between two players coming from either angle. That orb does not operate in that fashion whatsoever. So here you go, the first Jewel Hunter having another fantastic game. If Nork misses this, he's gonna start losing that fragile mental state. He's still got it. Deals with it cleanly. Now Rez is gonna fly up the ladder and drop a smoke, but I don't know what his Q is, is it? Okay, so he's spotting Nico and then realizing it's gonna be needed for a Molotov. Yeah, okay, keeps himself safe. Oh, spoke too soon. A wall bang, floor bang from Nico. And the best of the A side's gone. Twist has managed to keep things level, though. He is vulnerable to Nico, and that's why that smoke is there to deter. Peaks on it. Great shots. This is what we needed to see from Twist. Mechanical brilliance. <laughs> and they hunt it down, lock it down. Five to ten. A quick break, but maybe the Swedes ain't done yet.
It's turned to five and a smile creeping onto the face of Nico in his brand new, probably still laundry fresh G2 jersey. I don't think that one's been washed yet. No, I imagine it's probably at least had one kind of spring blossomed pass. Do you, go, do you use the detergent that makes it smell nice or do you skip that step? Uh, I'm you know, like the, the, the conditioner, the what, the softener? I, no, I definitely don't do that. I, I'm lucky if they come out clean, really, most days. <laughs> that laundry pile, Alex, still building up. Oh, God, yeah, let's not talk about the, uh, the mess awaiting us when we have a free day. <laughs> Let's get into it because this is a big one. NIP dominated Vertigo. If you've just joined us, you're in for a treat. G2 finding their feet on their map pick, though. And I can't help but uh, be honest with you. The sentiment of the casting desk is that this goes to three. Maybe we get some more uh, emoticons out. Yeah, we definitely were learning all of the Twitch emojis you guys like to spam. All right. This one's a bit monkey s for NIP. Right, Brush? Yeah? That's monkey yes. s Yeah. Hunter looking to hog on them. Nice shot. This is a double actually from Jack. So does favor G2. And a third has come out of that USP. He's using bench and just turreting on the short flood. There's nothing left oh, for Nork, I thought. But a clean P250 shot gets me on the edge of my seat. Next to knocks him off his. And G2 to start with the crucial pistol round in order to make this one a quickie. You can see all that's done to the T's and not getting the bomb down as well. Likely going to be seeing them. Concede for the force buy. That was a nice shot he... from Nork. Yeah, yeah, where was Jack? Was he just on bench when he started shooting? Must have been. Because he was definitely mopping them up. I think... Dush, dush, dush. I think he's done a great job there of bailing him out while they're under a lot of pressure. That missed shot in the early stages almost spelled disaster. But the... Well, I was mm. going to say force buy. It's not a force buy. It's just a deagle. And Hampus is dead. Hampus is really dead. He's... Oh, no. Plopsky, no! Catches the nade, that's the deagle just changing hands. Maybe everyone gets to touch it. We've seen that before. We have, now the deagle's on the floor. Pick it up, Nork, he fall. Touches four of the hands of his squad before it's taken from them, but a spotless SMG force, excuse me, half buy from the G2 squad does mean they'll have the bonus now against the AKs. And this, this is a bonus that they can take in their stride. At 12 to 5, why not? Yeah, you can operate with this. You can get the SMGs up close and personal towards A ramp, maybe push into Palace. You could even go for a late aggression in towards middle after you've given up that control to NIP. But they have the AK-47s. They're operating with the heavy machinery right now. And within the early stages, it looks like they're feigning mid control. And a gamble stack from G2. I love this. That's the Palace aggression. Res your screw. All right. Or All right. is he? Or is he? All right. <laughs> Nice shot, Kenny finding the one-shot headshot. Scout the AK, and he knows he's got presence from that palace position. He takes a pot shot, doesn't connect it. He was hoping to dunk with the nade, now he can. Rez, da, ah, that's not fair. So short, he's tagged another. Kenny's given it all he's got, Captain. Rez low, twist spotted. He's trying to get away from the dodge. He's already done the damage. Jackson, Nico still involved. They're all gathered on CT, and that molly, Oh, it's good. It forces Twist to go and at least acknowledge that Triple will be where he hides. Nico can focus his attention over the flames. Twist gets one. Drone out by Jax. Still a two on two. Don't forget Rez was hit by that scout. Oh, great oh, smoke. Smoking a kit. It's a potent mix. Peaked by Hampus. And now looking for Jax. He's got a very awkward duel ahead of him. Maybe that is his best bet. He even has a kit. Oh, and there Rez just got forgotten about throughout the process. Nice frags from the ninjas in pajamas, but three frags on the bonus round. They'll now come into this one with admittedly not everything they desire. Seems like Nico a little short of the mark. Yeah, but still there by it couldn't or shouldn't be that bad or things. I thought Rez was going to get run down here. That's a left eye peak that he was able to win against Hunter. Good shit is. And Kenny's done a lot of damage here, a lot of tags. But Rez, one of those victims to the tags, was able to finish things off. So a competitive round, but it was that bonus. So buying back in, Kenny onto the AWP, Nico with the Famous close towards A ramp, and then three rifles, and another gamble stack towards A. Ooh, that's some oh, double trouble. Nor gets them both straight into A now. That's going to really push them forward. A surge of momentum from the sweep. They've already got Hampus set up on connector. They what can pincer. What about him? He hasn't been cleared. 
He will now. Gus Rez needs a second. Nork is having a round here. Every bullet he fires, he's sending them off, packing. I'd say too. I don't want to go anywhere near this kid's AK. He just took down. He just took down Nico at plus one. Both aggressive ramp, peeking in left eye, just crouches round the corner. Jeez. Great shooting. That was fantastic. He's stuff. making a strong case for player breaks. Yeah, look, it wasn't an extended one by any means, but it's clearly enough for him to be hitting some form Dude, right now. I spoke to Crims the other day, right? And I was asking him one of my use, usual useless questions at the end with morbid curiosity, asking, you know, how can you replicate that, that not caring about the result when you have to care about the result? And the only answer he had for me was that Fnatic in their heyday would take a week off. Straight yeah. up, all five players stop playing the game. Come back to it with a new fresh set of eyes and it just gives you that new look, you know? It's something that you're staring at so often it just becomes your reality and disconnecting, reconnecting. This is what I'm talking about. Great shooting. The fact he's transferred so quickly, that's like within the third of the spray. Yeah. And look at the shots he's hitting onto Hunter. That's one man winning a round. <laughs> and just, just to, uh, you know, play into that a little bit more, obviously the calendar quite packed now. It doesn't make that as possible for a lot of these teams, but it used to be after you would go to a LAN, you'd come back and you wouldn't, you definitely wouldn't get straight back on the PC. You know, you would leave the keyboard and mouse in the suitcase for a couple of days. So if we look at NIP right now, knowing that they have these USPs to deal with on the other side of the short smoke, it shouldn't be too deadly for them. The AKs should be able to mow them on down, and it's only a matter of time, Hampus. You might be overcooking this. Ooh, the jump is so sketchy. And the USP stack. Well, it's a nice stat pad up for him. He needed that. He needed it. He needed that. A great injection of frags and energy into the NIP roster as Hampus gets his quad kill and puts him on seven. I'll let you do the maths. Yeah, I think if you look at his first half performance, it was very weak. He was a, a non-starter. I mean, I, the beauty of Counter-Strike is that we can forget all about that half. Well, it used to be that the kills were reset at half time and you all started from 0-0. Zero, zero. No, but, I don't, uh, you I don't, don't like that, that Chad. I, I like having my 20 kill T halves and then just looking good at 25 at the end of the game, you know? Yeah, sure. I, I understand that. I used to be the guy because in 1.6 in Source, when you planted the bomb and it detonated, you got an extra three frags on the scoreboard. Um, yes, please. Yeah, that was me. I was always planting the bomb. Chad, I bet you were fragging off the charts. And I looked like an absolute <laughs> monster, let me tell you. God damn. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's interesting. Three mm. kills. Yeah. For a plan. Hey. Nuts. Want to get that bomb down? Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, dude. Three bloody kills. That's how you incentivized it back in the day. Oh, and the triple kill. Yeah. <laughs> now. So we didn't have points. Now, if you I look know. at the scoreboard these days, it's obviously the, the whole, there's a whole score. other column, the yeah. score column, which didn't exist uh, now. Very, very back basic scoreboards. Yes, I'm ancient. Yes, Chad, when, when Chad was playing Counter-Strike before you were born, uh, it, was, it, was, <laughs> it was actually in black and white. No, I was playing with your dad. Yeah, it was black and white. <laughs> um, they played it in his four by three on CRTs. <laughs> we did, actually. Yep, <laughs> I wasn't exaggerating. <laughs> Maybe the black and white part, but still. We're into the action, and I am intrigued to know whether or not this three-man CT lean mid is going to find anything. He has managed to get his head under the threshold by which Hunter could have punished. Nico's jiggling to drop his util, and they actually trade oh. blows. He's ready for that duel. He actually finds the headshot. Plopsky tried to challenge him, but the spray control too good. The Hampus, trade. a crucial trade, and Kenny reveals his location. He can no longer hold CT. He has managed to create a nice little gap. Next on to Hampus. So now they start to pincer in. Not planning. And they aren't planting. They're just falling. Great frags all over the shop. And it's a spotless C CT defense. Double kill for Hunter as he recovers the AWP and they keep an AK as well. So an extra special treat to swap. Hunter's not going to complain for the one shot headshot on the CT side. And 13 found by G2. Three rounds away from taking us to train. One of the notes here is I do believe Jax has been moved away from the B bomb site, and that's uh, sorry, away from the A bomb site, and that's where he played when Amanek was on the roster with him. Jax actually defended over towards A, uh, so having that shift in position is quite a tall task and, and not an easy feat by any means. So let's see how agile they stay in this. Two players being boosted up. It is Hunter and Nexa. Nico is the one who was able to help them up and over the boxes. And he's playing over towards Connector. So that's a comfortable position for Nico. He gets to help out Kenny, quite the duo to defend the A bomb site. And they're currently in a retake setup. Now, if NIP don't win this one back, their money's in the bin. And well, this map is probably done. But if they're able to continue to trade blows with G2, we might have a couple more twists and turns in this one because G2 aren't operating with a whole lot to their name either. A slow start. No real intention.
within the first 40 seconds of play. And then IP. Maybe just waiting for a mistake, but G2 don't want to overcommit. The fact that they are playing two players in this vent room means that if they push through short, they're going to have to get past multiple members, and you might not expect the second. It also allows Nexa to stay more flexible into that window. So Jack's jump peeking towards B, and that's now where the bomb I is like going. It. I reckon Hampus could find Eco here. Just about. Another one window, though. Wasn't yeah. ready for that. No. So just trade is in, but they've got three players ready to defend B here. If they don't find Hunter fast, and they have, Nexus still on the site, though, and he's going to find a third. G2 in good stead to collect the 14th round here, especially now Kenny's arrived on the site and arrived in the kill feed, too. Where Rez is. Yeah. Oh, this one's cooked. Okay. I think Rez timed out there. I think we might have to take a proper pause, tech pause after that one. Yeah, now that's unfortunate, but the round had already commenced there. Yeah. So unfortunately for NIP and something that did feel a little bit competitive, that'll stand. And that's 14 now for G2 to the eight of NIP. Money won't be great. And it should only be a moment until we get him back in the server, I hope. That was a nice shot there from Kenny onto Twist. And what oh, a nice made bed there from Hunter. Glad that he's taking the time to present his room. Now, uh, Rush. Yo, what up? How's it going in there? Did you try the goose? I did try the goose, yeah. What you think? It, it was very close to duck. It was pretty nice, to be honest. I really enjoyed it. I was okay. uh, The little bits of gravy with it were very, very delicious, to be honest. Maybe my palate isn't quite refined enough for goose. You didn't like it? I had about two bites. No thought, way. I'll be honest. You like it? The smell of the canteen, it's very goosey. Yeah. And it just smells like how I imagine... Sunday roasts at the old people's home smell. Uh, <laughs> you know, like if you walked into the the, the, the Sunday, 12 yeah. o'clock, you've come in the front door and you're like, ooh, something's for dinner. I, yeah. thought, it was, I thought it was delicious. I, I well, enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I, I've noted that there's been a lot more sausage. Um, no, but I, I actually kind of like it because I usually struggle with my like unending gluttony. Like yeah. I just eat anything that I desire in front of me. But by having my meals decided for me and some of them not being particularly appealing, I've actually lost a great ton of weight. Okay, well, that's one way to do it. Um, uh, yeah, well, you, you're having your vitamins. Yeah, you know, they basically choose them. for me when I actually am going to eat. Now, we have got the full refresh of the HUD. We do have a 5e5, and we do have two AKs for a fully bought-up T side. That doesn't sound good, but neither does the scoreline. Eight for NIP. This is uh, an attempt, a Hail Mary attempt, to get their teeth back into this round, and, or rather, the half train, the third, should we need it. Feels like we do. I kind of want this to finish quickly so we can get to train and have a competitive affair. These have both seemed like one-sided games, and I have no problem with that. It is their own map choices. You would like Counter-Strike to traditionally go in that fashion, and then the third's meant to be the decider, the more of the middle ground. But maybe NIP aren't done. They need these two AKs, one in the hands of Nork, one in the hands of Rez, to actually find a couple of kills, or otherwise they're slow, staggered. Default. Oh, we're calling the timeout again. So we, I've heard a lot of typing just there. That doesn't normally doesn't mean a good sign. Great. Rush, are we still on? Just checking console. Uh, yes, sir. It's not stopped yet, but it might do. There is damage that's been dealt, so that might be the reason why. All right. Yeah. Well, we continue until the the whistle. The whistle. The whistle. whistle. The whistle blows from the refs. Okay, well, they have got the B site. Oh, no, this is going to cause a bit of an argy barge. Oh, yeah, it is. That's not ideal. So to, to clarify, what's happened here is we've lost a player to a technical issue. And then Reza's entry fragged one single frag to convert the knight. And this was on just two AKs as well. So this really does... It Ooh. sours the, the tone. Yeah, quite a lot. And, and look, guys, if you're watching this and you're like, oh, no, like, shouldn't that be replayed? Look, we, there's lots of situations, there's lots of scenarios... Uh, the internet, there are normally some dramas that come with it. And North, he's trying to take away a couple of these weapons because G2 not operating with a lot in terms of residual cash. Popsky now hunting, might get the opportunity to take away one. We'll do exactly that. Wants some more, knows where Nico is. Tapping at long range with the M4. Oh, they're even rubbing salt in the wound. Trying to hunt. They might even flash Nico around this corner. Plopsky had one, Twist was pushing, but they're not going to get the repeat they were so hoping for. So we do get an NIP9, and look what they've done. Not only did they win the round, but they don't have to invest in any more rifles. So just at the breaking point of their economy, at 14, yeah. now they get the lovely little cushion. They can lay their head on it. 
take a nap and come back in trying to live out of this or escape this nightmare. 14 to 9. Chad wanted it to be over quickly, but I'm starting to see the writing on the wall for a very close mirage. NIP, they just need to convert not only this one. Now, Kenny has got an AWP. I'm not ready to write them out. But a stack on B and a heavy lean mid to B. So a universe certainly exists where G2 can make these single rifle oh. and AWP work. That was good damage to the smoke there, but it's unconfirmed. They won't know how low Nork is. Are they going for the Hunter window play? They are, but I think the Hunter is probably ready and raring for this one. And Nico. I mean, he's got the reactions. He will react. Hampus is staring at it. If he crouches and nutmegs him, he should have an advantage. And he gets it. Not this time going to get swung on by Ladder. And they feel like mission accomplished. Kenny does reveal the AWP's location. AWP B, they say. <gasps> Okay, that's a very important frag from Hampus. He can lock the door behind him. That Molotov is essentially the lock turning. And the round one, Kenny burning down to 34. Rez is even hunting. Oh no, an AK delivered. Jax, a headshot. Nork and Hampus are low. There's a real a chance they can get back in this. Yeah, he and even I, has a kit. They, they do have the oh, kit on doing? Kenny. They're looking for the safe plant. He is so low though. Very vulnerable to a wall bang. So not getting out of dodge and re-smoking connector. They're giving it a go, or at least posturing to do so. They've got a single flash. Ugh. No fun. Okay, Back in a way. Yeah, that's the right call. Now, this is percentage counter-strike here. They will get their loss bonus starting to trickle on up, and it means they can stay deadly. If they go for this and they lose, then they get wiped out and they've dropped everything. And surprisingly, this time around, NIP are not the ones hunting. They're just happy to let them keep these weapons. Now, can we stay in window for a second rush on a free cam? So when we were in window before, can we get can we get in there? Can we get in the window looking towards short like what Nico was doing when he was looking at that smoke? Nico was looking straight through the smoke at the light. Now, I want to test that when we get home, Rush. I want to try out a couple of uh, things with the smoke and the window and, and actually see how that light plays because to me, it looked like he was looking at the light to see if it went out. And I don't know if a body, if it walks in front of it, if the light dissipates for a second. That's something that I would actually really want to sink my teeth into and see how that whole dynamic works there but it is another round for nip and well now a timeout will be called for g2 you can see that they have fully purchased but just maybe settling themselves down from that dropout they had just a few rounds prior because nip have a full buy as well their loss bonus is now reset back down to the minimum of 1400 and with that amount of cash Next round, they should be able to buy even if they lose this one. So NIP can stay threatening for the remainder of the game. But yeah. this is a, a big round for G2. If they get wiped out, if they get obliterated and smoked off the map here. Yeah, that light there was what I was talking about. He was already crossed. I don't know how I haven't noticed that before. That's why he uses to, to, to check the cross. Yeah, yeah it definitely does work. I've seen it um, whenever I watch like a simple stream or something like that. He watches it a lot. How have I only just noticed that? It's a real thing. I'm a potato brain. Well, because when the smoke's there, you're like, well, it's smoked. What's the yeah. point of looking at it? I guess I haven't, haven't ever just focused on it in that way before. So that's a little detail right there that I'm a bit late to the party that's on. A, that's a neat find. To be fair, I hate Mirage. Yeah, you refuse to play it. I've never played Mirage with Chad. I don't we even never know. never will. No. <laughs> it's just a rule of our friendship. No Mirage, and we can continue to hang out. That's the way it works around here. And if NIP can continue in this game, they're going to be happy with that. They're going for a little bit quicker mid control this they're time. They're doing they're it again. The boost again, yeah. Look at the gap. I wonder if it's not even broken. Okay, well, the sound cue can play in their but, favor. But surely someone's anticipating this. Who's holding it? No one. Okay, Kenny, kind of. Not really. Yeah, he's taking cursory glances, but Hampus can just park himself there. I don't, I, you know, I almost like a B finish. They are. The B finish is a really nice touch. Because they know the rotation has to be far away. They know what type of setup that they're working with here and that nobody is likely close connector. Oh, so all they cool. have to do is get past Jackson Hunter. Yeah, but easier said than done. And Hunter's got a very nice angle. I want to make sure everyone sees it before he gets knocked off his perch. Look at this. I don't mind contact here. They don't even have to execute. Oh, and he flanks it. Just as the B hit comes in, he actually breaks the vent, pushes in, double kill. NIP are back in Mirage. Oof, and now they should probably hunt. Have a bit of cash to work with. Start chasing. Take this off out of hand in Kenny's hands, and they almost do. Yeah, very sketchy for Kenny. Going to have to get away from that one. Dropping his util just for survival now. It's a very different purpose than what it was five seconds ago. Nork should have gone down, but Nexa just couldn't quite find the bullets. Enables him to find another now, actually, running towards Kenny's location. Good shot. That will hopefully 
keep the feet planted towards T-Spawn as they look to save. There's still time on that bomb. There's still time for Twist to keep on hunting. They know he's on ramp. Nico's in Palace. Maybe he can stop it, but Kenny's lost his AWP. This hunt is cutting G2. They've got $2,400 coming into their bank accounts next round, and they've just lost the Kenny AWP. There's no way for Nico to retrieve it. He's better off just saving what he can. And now, no one at the 4750 threshold. That's an AWP denied. In the closing stages of this round, Hampus getting brownie points for his arrival there. It's crazy how they use that safety net, which is the vent not being broken against them, because you can identify what type of setup that you're right. working with. So that is fantastic. And Hampus, the in-game leader, the one to see that, the one to pick the gap and the one to punish is huge stuff. And the frustration starting to creep in on the faces of G2 now. They're only working with this M4, some upgraded pistols. Nexus hold on to that USP and they have a handful of smokes. But Nico, you need a magic moment, mate. Yeah, it's about time. It's about that time. There's one. <gasps> oh, so many targets. Plopsky's got a lot of work on his plate. Nico, you said he needs to be a hero. How's a double sound? And Jack's hitting the deagle. Suddenly 15 on the horizon. With nothing more than pistols and Nico. He's now gone down. Found now, Hunter, another frag. Rez is so low. Surely oh. he can't do this. Hunter just needs to put one bullet in him. Rez finds the headshot onto Jax. Mantles can't find it. Hunter with a wide strafe and G2 pull the hero round out of the bag. A collaboration of the cousins. Double for Hunter, double for Nico. Puts the 15th on the board and just after all of that hard work, NIP now have to take it into overtime if they want to take Mirage. All right, well... That is not one you want to see NIP dropping. They were looking good for this comeback, and that's now been ripped out of their hands. Hampus was the hero in the previous well, and this one just here, giving up that opening death. It's felt disaster. As NIP, they can afford to buy back in. It is the final round of play. It would have been a force regardless of their economic situation. But again, Hampus, one of the individuals leading the charge for NIP, leading by example, leading from the front. Can they find a gap again? Trying to really punish this B bomb site and Jax, it's for new territory for him. They've cleared out towards Palace. So Kenny with the AWP lid forward, saw nothing. They've also managed a bit of A ramp progression. Nothing there. Nexa, off of that space that Kenny has secured, will be taking that away as quickly as possible in case it is an A split and Nico towards ramp. I do not like this for Twist. He is going to go down any second. Spotted. I'm trying to control uh, A aggression. They've even got Nork parked up on T stairs trying to catch Palace pushes. Ampers has just pushed up the stairs and managed to tag up another. That's the bomb. Oh, Nork's chances of going down so high, but now they're just walking into B. This is a kooky round. They've had frags on A, frags on the bloody Palace push, and now Plopsky's walked into B to keep Hunter busy. He'd need a multi, maybe Rez. Uh-oh, he didn't get check in. Why has he not pulled the trigger? Finally, Rez does. Nico caught on the gap of the smoke. Twist fails to punish, and perhaps that has ramifications, because now a 2v3. Both the CTs are so low, and they worked so hard to get this far. I don't know whether they want to continue to push the issue. Yeah, Kenny, but the fact that we aren't seeing any movement out of him, he's just accepted his fate, playing the percentage. He knows he only needs one more round. There's no need to go for the Hail Mary yet. Yeah, the problem with this is now it's only 1900 and with only two saved guns i know that they won it with just the pistols before so maybe they'll light upgrade again uh actually we should be we should see a buy hunter can purchase nico can drop a gun across as long as he doesn't go down here they're exiting in his direction where's the line where's the line nork draws in the sand oh just at the tv so i'm gonna push out into nico's waiting arms he would have loved another frag there, Nico. Taking away a gun would have been fantastic. He's operating with seven assists, so not converting, not finishing off his meals here this evening. G2, just one more round. And this is why I was talking about a purchase. Oh, Nico, what are you dropping? Just a couple of pistols here. I mean, we saw how far a $700 pistol can go. That's true. They don't have to fully invest behind this. Because you can see Hunter as well. He's working with a lot of cash. He's bought into a UMP, so... Well, it's actually not... Yeah. Not the worst. It's intimidating. It is. I can't help but feel this is actually it. There's a three-man stack on a ramp, and Hunter, he would need to have the element of surprise here. Hopefully, Jackson and Nexa can bait them in. You'll go unchecked. Mid-control, though. 
I mean, a connector wrap would ruin it, all of this setup. But are INOP going to cross their T's and dot their I's, or will there be a little bit of a Plotsky overextension? Doesn't get the first. It's Hunter that does get shut down quite quickly, though. And now Jax, with only his CZ, he's gobbled a flash. He's gobbled some lead. Hampus the one to deal it out. And he's on the retreat. Goes down. Hampus was trying to uh, hunt him down. So Kenny will keep hold of his AWP, and Nico will hang out in connector. Bomb ticking away. NIP making a bit of a half out of this now. Yeah, and they're not going to put the chase on. They're actually just standing still, making sure there is no retake, because these were the two survivors. These were the two saved guns, and that means there could be a kid, and they are right to think so. Nico has one, and he was waiting towards the basic connector, but it appears they'll be saving again. And that's 2,400 into the bank balance in the next round, so the buyers will be strong for G2, but that's now 13 for NIP. If they're able to pull this back to overtime, I will be extremely impressed because the way that that first half started, they were having a rough time of it being dictated to across the map. G2 looked very, very comfortable, but now we have a real map of this one. Almost going to go the full 30. Will NIP take us there? That's the question. We will need bonus rounds to pull these two teams apart if NIP control the last two, and that'll be four on the trot. Remember, G2 won the pistol. They converted. Then the AKs came out early from NIP. They went on a spree of three. And now we find ourselves at 15-13. Pace change looks a bit faster. They're going to extinguish and go. Okay, Kenny. He mantles up, and he has all the time in the world to take that shot thanks to the flashbang. Next to another. Oh, this one's done. Just charging in with a pace change. Nexa can't believe his luck. He collects all three, and that's it. Charging into A is where they meet their demise. G2 convert their map pick.